Hi all, today I'll give you an introduction into the uh, MATLAB Simulink for doing your lab experiments. First of all, we will be opening our Simulink by either by clicking the Simulink icon here or else we can type it in the command window. First we will do uh, with a blank model. Okay. For just for a starting, we'll introduce a we'll um, we'll bring a block of sine function and a scope here. You can type it uh, sine. Then you'll get a sine wave here. Okay. Just drag and drop here. Then uh, we need a scope there. So either type start typing scope. It will appear here now. So let it be that one. Okay. And we'll join it by the connecting wires like this. Okay. Now we'll check for the parameters of the sine wave. It's a time based one. Simulation time is used as the time. Amplitude is taken as one. Let it be. And frequency is one. Okay. Now what about the uh, simulation time? Run time it has been set as 10. Let it be that one itself. And uh, just run it. You can see this is it. Okay. And uh, uh, the settings you can adjust like if we want to open it at the start of simulation you can click it here. So from next time onwards while running it just after uh, running it will appear uh, okay as such and you can plow uh, if we want uh, can show the legend here okay there's a low line it is a sine wave okay and uh, annotations can be given from here as say annotate sine wave Okay, this is the sine wave. Let this be given an annotation as just double clicking that you can do it there. You can give it as here annotate. Okay, scope. Okay, then so you see. That's it. Okay. Now suppose uh, we want to do one more sine wave. Say harmonic of that let us have. So we will make the sample frequency as instead of one let it be two. Okay. And uh, suppose uh, we need a summation of these two what all block we need we need a, an add block or a sum block you can type it here either sum it will appear in the commonly used blocks this is a sum block okay okay so this is a summation block we'll keep. add the two signals okay and uh, we would like to see what is the summation of this okay so Either you can uh, use three different scopes for viewing first sine wave, second sine wave and uh, the summation of that or else you can merge the three waveforms into the single scope. Okay, so for that actually we need a MUX operation. For a MUX operation you can write say MUX. Okay, this is the max one, max and as well as D max is there. So by using this, sorry. We place this max operator here.
plus sine wave this is second sine wave this max we will make it into number of inputs into three okay so that third input is of this okay so what we did is the first one this the sine wave this one also will give a notation like sine 2 so that is sine 2 this is the summation of that now we can remove this and give this okay So by running that, see what happened. And how do you observe the points actually? Here either this one will show the complete picture. This is the positive sign shows that zoom in, zoom out, then zoom Y and zoom X. So zoom Y means you can zoom from here to here. Like here to here what are them? okay so max in, okay here in the sine wave you can see some small small uh, strips like that no not a smooth one here why it happened uh, can check for because uh, see so that is because in the simulation can adjust that you can make it into a smooth sine wave by setting that simulation you take the simulation model configuration parameters you take okay and uh, this is a uh, here it is a variable uh, step it is in either put it to fixed step or variable step okay uh, in small or simple uh, problems uh, simple modeling it won't affect much okay then the fixed step size is taken as photo suppose if we reduce the step size say 0 0.001 let it be okay apply it now you run it you can see this more smooth one no? got it okay so that is uh, uh, how that does uh, so what happens is when we uh, decrease the step size uh, more or more uh, points has to be increased memory size and the running speed will decrease and all in small problem small models it won't affect much okay but uh, so we have to set it according to our requirement okay now uh, you see some other interesting uh, applications here you can see this is the sine wave of uh, frequency 1 no second was a frequency 2 1 and this is the summation you can see the sum no here if we uh, suppose we need this scope should not look like this or I'll uh, it's it, to be as in the case of a printing one no? uh, in a white background and all you can adjust here so here you take the uh, settings this style style uh, you can adjust the figure color to white apply this outer border it become white access colors also you can put it uh, white okay it's now in the white background no? and uh, this is this color you can put it to say black apply more visible now no and the active display say uh, it does having only one input because uh, we merge together no the summation it does i mean uh, mux together okay and uh, line width if you want uh, you can adjust say to one okay and uh, 
that is properties for the line sine wave there is sine wave one is there it is a blue one no can instead of blue if we need say green can apply that okay and uh, suppose uh, for the summation some signal if we need this red one with uh, a thick line two we can apply it okay that's it interesting no and uh, the same thing suppose we want to plot it uh, using the plot command also can bring it to the matlab environment so that is a uh, you can do it by in the settings while coming to this this window comes from here settings configuration properties of the scope actually so from that uh, you can get a term like logging so if we want to limit the memory you can limit data points to last 5000 like that log data to workspace okay there is uh, one uh, checkbox you can check it <clears throat> and the scope data is the uh, variable name you apply it okay right uh, now you go to the matlab environment okay so there uh, you could uh, find that so there you could see a one second we didn't run after uh, made this matlab model to similar model to run no so we run it now we'll check the matlab window you could see the scope data here no okay this is the scope data suppose uh, we want to plot the scope data in plot the scope data does a, a name it uh, comes if we want we can change it so we can check for what all thing to plot so one two three this is one two three okay scope data three different waveforms see okay suppose we need this one alone you can do it like that okay and uh, you can use the uh, all the parameters there you can adjust with the color so many things you can do with the uh, plot command no okay that does it and coming back to the model you we haven't saved the model no you can save the model by clicking save button see just an intro you save it it will save to the current folder okay and uh, suppose uh, we we can do the same process by uh, giving in, in the commonly used blocks there is an in um, block as well as an out block this you see an out block drag it here this dra uh, suppose we need the summation alone let us do with this one alone and we can give the pod number signal name also signal name let it be sum okay and uh, now we this if we run it we run it uh, and we go to the matlab command window there you could see one y out no What is that buy out? What is that signal? As you could see, the values also you can take it from here. Okay. Now, you can do it in so many different ways, the same thing. Okay. Here, then we have already checked this, no? open at start of simulation that rate is coming uh, every time when we run the model okay 